Greetings, class, and welcome to Research Methods. My name is Dr. Sandra Jenkins. Uh, everybody calls me Dr. J for short. And this video includes some very important information in terms of the course overview and a few expectations for the course. First of all, the course comes in about four parts. The first one reviews basic scientific psychological research. We'll be looking at definitions, we'll be looking at the literature, and we'll be exploring various avenues of psychological research, especially as they pertain to ethics. Second, we'll be looking at basic research methods in terms of observation in psychological research, relational-based research, basics of experimentation, validity, and reliability, and so on. In part three, we'll be looking at advanced research methods, experimental designs, complex designs, maybe small numbered designs, and finally, even looking at quasi-experimental. Yeah, that sounds like a big word, but we will get there. And then fourth, the practice of scientific psychological research by interpreting the results and the research itself, and above all, presenting that research in an appropriate scholarly fashion, also known as APA, which I have already given you a number of handouts for. In addition, I've provided you several handouts on research methods as well. I'm sure you're going to find all those handouts exceptionally helpful. Let me remind you, too, that you have some expectations. In the first place, tests need to be taken without the additive support of any of your textbook or notes. The student also should agree to the terms and requirements of the course by participating in those first week assignments. Please follow the directions carefully as you enter into each week's discussion, as well as the handouts that I've provided in the announcements. There's plenty of information to guide you through what is expected for each week. Above all, if you have any questions, absolutely ask. No dumb question is asked, but only the one that hasn't been addressed. Students are also expected to read all the policies and adhere to them as required in the course syllabus. For instance, I'm someone that's a little bit picky about plagiarism. After all, I've had a personal experience with someone stealing my work. And you will find a video to that effect so that you'll understand those clear expectations. Also, you're expected to interact with each other as well as me in the discussions. You will find that important connection between one another and how to work as a team. It gets you also engaged a little bit more personally in the discussions. You are also supposed to be present significantly as each particular area is discussed and the integrity of each student. Well, I don't even think I have to mention that. Laterno students, as I have found, are bar none excellent. Students are also expected to become familiar with any of the necessary technology that we have in the course. You will also find that we will be examining some of those and even talking about them, such as Statistical Package for the Social Science, also known as SSPS. We won't be using that in this class, but it will be at least one technical tool that we will talk about. The discussion boards are also intended to help stimulate the classroom discussion. And more important, they are aspects of the class which will get you going as a team. You also must post to the initial discussion question that I have in the class. In addition, at least to two others, but hear me carefully, three posts total are appropriate, but you also must answer the initial discussion question. You also must add support to your research. After all, 
We're in a research class. You should show evidence of that research and thought in each of your posts. Each of the week's discussions are worth 20 points apiece, and you get that total of points if you follow those particular instructions that are located in each of the week's discussion areas. They're pretty clear, but if you have questions, just let me know. I will be using the gradebook and actual grading rubric as designed, and you will see that as well in the syllabus. Please be sure that your posts are a minimum of 50 words apiece, not more than 200 or 250. You should be able to get that bit of information out pretty clearly. Again, each must demonstrate critical thinking. Think out of the box. I hope that's what we will encourage you to do with research methodology because it's fun and exciting. We'll be solving puzzles together. In addition, close each post with a provocative question that makes your other classmates think, hey, make me think. I need help with that as well. In addition, you will respond no later than midnight on day three of the individual week to at least one post. You are actively engaged throughout the week and making sure that you submit all other posts on the last day of the week. No exceptions. At this point, I hope to, and look forward to meeting each and every one of you, both on the discussion board and at any other time. I'm here and hope that you will enjoy interacting with me. And if you have a question, don't hesitate to pick up the phone. I do like talking to students. At the same time, make sure that you engage fruitfully and excitingly in the classroom, especially on that discussion board you're going to find that this particular course will prepare you in ways you may not even imagine. I look forward to seeing you soon. Welcome again to the class, and I'll see you on the discussion board.